this is a five-ish, four in the morning, five-ish in the morning face right here. <laughs> Definitely a little sleepy. I haven't done anything this early in a really long time. How are you feeling? Uh, there's a little bit of anxiousness. You know, doing these things, I uh, still have anxiety about it, and it gets you a little nervous, but I think the excitement and just the idea of learning how to do something that I really want to learn how to do, which is ah, go fast, uh, I'm pretty excited about. Uh, just this whole waking up in the morning is so hard. I don't think I've been awake in single digit numbers in the morning in a very long time, unless I'm still awake. So, <laughs> coffee. start this school with how much we appreciate you being here. It means a lot to us. Uh, we know it's a lot of effort. It's a bit of money. It's uh, quite a bit to get here in the middle of the week, miss some work, etc. Uh, probably your family's doubting what you're doing, and we really appreciate you coming here. <laughs> yeah. So bad with that. If you're if you're the rider who starts the bike up and whom whom whom, somebody's gonna see you. Oh, Adley, you went to camp school and you do that. I'm gonna do that. Oh, you went to camp school, you do that. I'm gonna do that. So now the poor rider's going 30, 30, 30, 30. Do you over 70? And they fall down. So Lewis might as well just stop before we do anything. That's just not gonna ever work. Everybody good on that idea? But we don't call it the foot pig. We call it the access of the gyro. So if we think about it, your wheels are spinning, cranks spinning, pistons, everything is telling that bike to go straight. The more weight we put into that foot peg, the more we detour that energy and the bike wants to start steering. So we're watching his foot get off that 45 degree angle. His ankle's gonna get flexed forward, he's standing on the ball of his foot. Heel comes in and what we're looking for is a triangle of light, basically seeing light between his leg and thigh. forearm's going to come across the top of the fuel tank. That's kind of a good touch point that he's actually getting his head, chest, everything rotated down and towards the corner. And you can see his shoulders, everything's trying to open up his body towards the corner because it allows him to start seeing. So if I'm his corner exit, he's able to look right towards me as we're coming in there. Twist up on the bike. So as he gets twisted there, yeah, that's a look. <laughs> that's a look of love. No, as he gets twisted up on the bike, he sees his exit significantly later. <laughs> Are you worn out yet? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm beat right now. Oh. I got my elbow to touch the tank. Oh, I'm sorry, my forearm to touch the tank. Nice. Yeah. I want to push it back, but I can't. Really. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a workout. Holy crap. I love it though. <laughs> it's windy, so I apologize. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do not do cardio, or core or legs or really that's about it uh it's gonna suck <laughs> it's gonna be fun though oh. have someone turning around going around a turn dragging me pointing me telling me to scoot over yeah that's, like, that's nick i'm like huh yeah nick's, <laughs> nick's uh, obviously the best of anybody at that Sometimes just a little bit of a different perspective. Yeah. It's, it's all the same fundamentals. The perspective's a teeny bit different and then it clicks. Yeah. Okay? yeah. And that's, that's the beauty of it. Yeah, like I said, it was, it was a very simple adjustment. It's just like, I went two inches on the other side of your butt, you know. Yep, yep. Shit, all right, I'll try. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
Zion! Oh, Zion! <laughs> Riding like this for the intersection, right or wrong? Wrong. That's how you ride. For the intersection, the bus pulls out in front of you. You go, oh my gosh, the bus is pulled out in front of me. A half second later, you get the brakes on. You stab them. The fork snaps through the spring. The back end comes off the ground. What do you do to put the back end back on the ground? Put it off the brakes. Yeah. Your cruiser starts to tuck. ABS goes into ABS, lengthens your stopping distance, all because you stab that brake so aggressively. Kind of, we're going to have the bike stopped and slowly let it go and build pressure back up. So I'll have Chris, let me go, let me go, faster, faster, and at a walking pace, giving up on the brakes, you can see the, the bike jump away. So I'll tell Chris, hey, slow, slow that release down just a little bit. All right, fast, speed me up, speed me up. That's good, that's good. Slow me down, slow me down, slow me down. And that's at a walking pace. We can feel how small of a movement we really need in that brake line. Getting kind of fun. Oh, dude, it's I'm, I, it's I'm not used to getting off that far, and it's uh, I like you telling me going, yeah, go, go, go. Right. The more you move, the more the bike recognizes that signal from the expert. So I, I'm gonna push you to go another two or three inches both sides of your butt. Okay. Okay, I'll yeah. do. Because at this point, if you can move a little bit more, you'll feel more comfortable bending at the waist. So okay. Put your hands on the bars. Scoot back off that tank a little bit if you can. Now, yeah. bend at your waist toward me. Just free up here. Now look, look at me. Look at me up here. Okay. Here's. Let this hand rotate on the skull a little bit more. Okay. Good. So we need to get his upper body off a little bit more now, so he can run less lean angle. Less lean angle. And what he'll do is he'll just go faster at the same lean angle. Which is right so I'm gonna put you third now. Move more than you think. Okay. okay? I'll do my best. Good job. Thank you. Let's rotate again. Let's go first, second, third. Good. I'm gonna accelerate a little more. Flat on more brakes. Fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Just, just kind of place yourself there. Pretend you're in a left hand corner. Okay. And so, then you've got your bike. Okay. Good. So, here's the pressure. Feel that? That's, that's what's holding yourself in place. Tight stomach, good pressure there. Weight's on this inside foot bag. If you can, pop this ankle forward. I like that. Okay. So, now, can you take this hand off the bar? Good. That's the core that's holding yourself in place. So feel, it, feel that weight there? Yeah. Now, yeah, now go to the right side. Pop that ankle forward. Oh, there you go. If you can. Yeah. yeah, let me. It's a. It, I'd like to. There you go. There you go. A little yeah, yeah, it's just going low. Yeah, 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 sure. Now you're starting to feel that fuel tangle that outside arm. See okay. how more bent at the, weight, at the waist you are? Okay. Now, this is what we're thinking about. We come in the corner, we don't move our butt, just sit up on the brakes. Boom, we're braking, braking, braking. Now drop your head back down in the corner and let that hand go. And put your hand up on this. Up here. Let it rotate right along there. Okay. Good. Good. Now sit up on the brakes. Boom. Now drop that head back into there. Okay, I like that. Okay. okay. You see the difference? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I see you guys rotate, so yeah. I figured you'd come out here, but you're saying stay right. Yeah, most most people, um, like Kenny Roberts used to, to cut this off because it always bothered his palm. So you can be out there, but this, of course, doesn't turn, so it gets, starts giving you a big signal. Gotcha. Good. All right, brother. That looked good. That looked good. Much better than you're on the bike, so let's, let's get after it on the bike. It's good information. No, it's not. If you're wiggling between transitions from left to right, you're putting on the bars. That's so important. Remember, divorce your arms from the bars, use your thighs and your core to go across the seat, okay? I guess we felt that a few times. Yeah, he said so. I'm starting to get fatigued. Yeah, I was trying yeah, to find right. something that's else. Right. So now you're pulling on the bars, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I dropped way back because yeah. everything I did was just like, okay, that's yeah. just sloppy yeah. as hell. I need to <laughs> pull it back. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And your bike was designed by Max Biaggi, so. You gotta work, ride like him. So, so well, I'm smoothly. not five foot two. Yeah, that's right. yeah, we got a section. <laughs>
I didn't like where I was at. I was too far from I was too far from that apex and too far from that one. We'll discuss it because we'll just realize that that corner there is faster than you think. It, it is. It's kind of what's throwing me off, and it's not an excuse. As I see you guys, yeah. so my eyes automatically go there, and I cut it tight. I know, and that's the problem with being so goddamn good looking. Yeah, I know. Like I'm staring at him. People are like, oh, they can't get my eyes off. <laughs> like I try to hide it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he tried to, it just doesn't work. We, we, we share that problem. <laughs> The bike is so fast, Alex, as Chris has to have a, a, a finer touch than someone on a slower bike. And that's why these faster bikes can be, can be such a handful. So this is, this is what I was seeing this morning, Chris. Show that one more time. Uh, and what we're looking for is, as we come off the corner, we want to get that head drop going. And because you lock your, your upper body in place, Chris, the bike's kind of locked into one lean angle. See, see it? Yeah. See that head on the high side? We want to head down to the inside. Bend at that waist, head to the inside. Okay. Brakes. See that? Everybody see that high head? Yeah, beautiful job with the brakes. I mean, he's a good rider, but we can make this so much simpler, faster, safer. Good direction change there. The brakes on. Everybody see the brake on at the top of the hill? Just that initial throttle. Yeah, just too, that too much yeah, again. That's right, that's right. Weird. Yep. And Cody, a fast bike, high head, bike can run wide. Right? Just, just the way it's going to be. So, Chris, this is why we wanted to film you especially. Yep. Getting that butt off, getting that knee out. That's getting there, but get that upper body into play. Okay, I mean, really got to overdo it because you, you are going quick and you're going to run out of grip by not getting that body off. That was a hell of a freaking workout. Oh my I god, I bet it looked like I'll it. I'll tell you what, though, night and day just for three laps. Yeah, it's amazing. day one done. I am absolutely beat. Stick around for part two because this is going to be a lot more track riding and some good footage coming from that. So, stick around.